Hi guys. So somebody asked me like what what you know, the, in, in the Transformation Academy, somebody asked me like what I thought was one of the most important parts uh, of the program, uh, and I had to think about that a little bit. Uh, but I would have to say the the single biggest um, thing, in my opinion, and it, and this is a big focus of the program and part of what what we're trying to bring to people. Um, it, it, and this is a different take than I think what a lot of people have maybe been on uh, is is the mindset part of of being successful. Like ultimately, anything that you end up doing. Whether it's trying to be more healthy, uh, whether it's trying to get over a physical issue, um, whether it's trying to be just successful with your family and successful in your work, your career, whatever, uh, is very dependent on your your mindset and where you th what you think you are capable of and worthy of. Uh, and then to take it to a deeper level, um, it's the mindset of really knowing, hey, what do I really want on a deep level? And there's there's six basic human needs. Um, that we all kind of have, that they're kind of underpinnings under the water, so to speak, um, uh, that, that, that motivate us, um, that I think if you're understanding of those, then you understand where some of our, our deeper motivations are so that you can, you can identify, um, not only identify what it is that you really want to accomplish in life, but also why you really want to accomplish that uh, on, a, on, a, on, a, on a maybe a, a deeper level. Um, and then around that, that's part of how you shape the mindset that you need to, to be able to, to put the effort in, to be able to sustain the effort and to be disciplined in, in the right phases of time uh, so that you accomplish anything. Anything that you're, anything you're gonna, be, gonna be successful at uh, is only gonna happen if you think you're, you're physically capable of it uh, and that you, and you're, you're capable of it, worthy of it, uh, and also that you are able to be disciplined to do it at the right time. So in other words, in other words, the sustained effort, it's the habits that you create. And, and also, that's another side thing, but creating habits is part of how you get past needing discipline, but that's, that's another story. But having the mindset um, so that you know you can accomplish things, something that you have confidence and you believe in yourself and that you can go about achieving it. Because if you don't think you can and you don't have the right mindset for anything, it's hard to put any effort out towards accomplishing what it is and then if you don't think you're you're maybe worthy on a certain level uh, and there's some deeper levels to that it probably sounds a little bit maybe superficial um, then you always tend to derail yourself and so we unpack that in the in the program we try to try to first identify just hey what is it that you really really want to accomplish what do you want out of this life what do you want it to be uh, and then let's make some steps right there so that you get that sense of progress but it all starts with mindset so I would say that's one of the most important things, and that's one of the things that we really break down uh, in the Transformation Academy and try to educate people on. That's one of my favorite parts, uh, anyway. And so uh, I know that I've been directly um, impacted by this because, like, and I'll give you a quick example. Like when I was when I was growing up, I remember, you know, my dad was a, a we had a horse farm and raised horses, and I remember him talking very fondly about. He was a great professional in terms of uh, working with horses and loved horses, but he didn't love the business side of it. I remember picking up on the, that business was somehow negative and that somehow that 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 was, you know, not a great thing. Like, and, it, and I remember picking up on that that general sense that business was something. Well, then I get out and I've seen and I'm working and I'm, I'm seeing business professionals that to me um, I judged as having having. You know, they didn't seem to have the values I had. They didn't have so my mindset was that that was somehow not as desirable a thing to be a, a smart business person because I had an erroneous belief and a little mindset that that meant I had to be something that I didn't necessarily want to want want to be. Like, why do you want to smash down the door um, to a, accomplish something if you think on the other side of that that you somehow lose your values or whatever? Well, it wasn't until I was around some other people and understood that businesses are a mechanism for doing wonderful things in life and, and that, that, that they can be run with values and virtues and all those really good things. Um, and that's part of why they're really successful. And I realized, wow, I kind of combined some things and made some things. Well, that was creating a mindset in, in me that, that was stopping me from wanting to pursue what, learning what I needed to learn or doing what I needed to do to really be successful in, in what I perceived as a different arena. And so it wasn't until I realized that, that that was part of where my mindset was, that I got rid of that. And then it was like, 
jet fuel after that. Amazing what it accomplished and and, and, and uh, how the business moved forward and how it became fun and how I realized that it's about the team and all these things. So in other words, mindset shift and it led to a completely different uh, thing. And you're very, very, very successful people. Um, mindset. They have a certain mindset that is that has been shown by science, and so so I, it's, it's not just my observation. It's it's many things. So I would say mindset is one of the things that, that is very very key. Uh, that's fun to learn, and that's part of uh, the academy. So anyway, hope to see you guys in it. Uh, sign up. Don't don't miss it. Don't miss the opportunity. We've already seen people make some huge differences in their life, uh, and we hope for you to be one. So take care, guys. Thanks for listening. Bye bye.